You're on the table, you take the lead, put it around your neck, back of your neck, two fingers, two fingers, remember that hold. So you're gonna pick them straight up and use your table. So toes at the front of the table. But I'm gonna do it facing you because I'm gonna show you. And go around. You hold her where her head is, point her nose, his nose, in the direction you want the toes to go. So if they're, see how that, that foot is pointing outwards? I point her head towards me and then let the foot drop. You see how it straighten up? Okay, use the edge of the table and then let her bottom drop. If he's leaning backwards, come over on the side. If he's leaning backwards, remember I showed you that push him the direction that he's leaning. He's gonna lean against you. So he moves, no big deal, they're gonna move. Point toes, point toes, point the nose where you want the toes to drop and then drop the legs down on the back. You can straighten the back out. If you go below that ankle, the hawk here, they're going to move everywhere. So try not to. Try to move it from the, from either doing this way or from the thigh. Pick up and drop down. Okay? If he's leaning, regardless of whatever way he's leaning, you push him that way. If he's leaning forward, push forward towards. You want him to go the other direction. Like I said, don't worry about moving. He's going to move. He's a baby. Okay? And then you take your finger, whatever you want. You hold the lead. I got a finger on the back side of each ear when the judge comes up. You get your treat, whatever. Get his attention. Get away from the head. You don't want to be holding on to the dog when the judge comes up to you. Okay? So hold something away. The judge is going to come in. He's going to go over the dog. Make sure all the parts are there. If the judge moves your dog, do not move him back. You leave him where the judge put him. Don't make the mistake of moving him again after the judge moves him. Unless he sits down, then holds his butt up. Okay? If he's going to keep sitting down, keep sitting down, just keep your hand there. It's okay. And then when the judge goes to look at his little boy parts, get in front of him. He doesn't have to be standing perfect then. You can fix him a little bit because the judge is going to walk out and he's gonna come and look at him again from the side. So you wanna kinda of look, you know, what are you gonna do? However you gotta hold his head, but if you hold his head, he's gonna automatically try to sit down, okay? So if you hold from the back, hold that collar, hand on each, on behind each ear, finger behind each ear, it's gonna kinda of hold him forward a little bit. She's leaning backwards because I'm pushing her, Push her, pushing the other way. And I'm gonna show you with Chucky. Chucky's a little harder because I've been working with her a little bit more than I've been working with Chucky. The more you get him to stack and put his feet in the same place every time, it's muscle memory. He's gonna put his feet there every time. When you stop and he free stacks, he's gonna put his feet down in the same spot where you taught him to put his feet down. It's muscle memory. That's why I said just keep Keep practicing. Do it on your knees when you're sitting watching TV. Do it on your counter. Do it on the floor. It doesn't matter. Keep putting them in a stack. Regardless, if he sits down, hold your hand under his rump. If you have to hold your hand under his front too with his feet dangling, that's fine. Do that the first few times. They don't have to touch the ground. Then, <laughs> then let him go a little bit more at a time. And don't get frustrated with him. Just get a treat something really delicious a vienna sausage a baby food jar it doesn't matter whatever you put tuna fish something that smells really good really strong that he likes right in front of his face and lead him to stand up so if he's sitting down you give him something delicious in front of his face and he'll automatically stand up towards it i don't have anything delicious right now but see she just stands up when she sat back down she's sitting down okay this is what he's doing to you fine put your hand underneath so he can sit down in your hand and then dangle his feet so he's not on the ground he's not sitting okay and just hold him that way the front automatically goes down too just keep everything off the ground for a minute and have everybody go over him in class everybody ask hey can you go over my dog if he freaks out with them on the table it's okay let him sit down let him crunch up next to you let the people come up and just touch it and you touch, keep touching them while they're doing it good boy good boy let everybody come touch him while he's on the table. Good, good, good. And then you're done.
Don't do it for too long because those are going to lose interest. Okay, we're going to do this with Chucky. Chucky's never had a lead on, <laughs> and I never put him on the table before. He's so, cute. this is what you got. The puppy, puppy. Okay. This is bad. Don't distract him like this. I yeah, love don't him. distract him. <laughs> Judge can distract him all he wants to. Fingers, fingers. Okay. Use the front of the table. And I tell you what, if he's backing up, sitting down all the time, use the back of the table. And I'm going to show you that. See, he's trying to sit. That's fine. I'm not going to put his butt on the ground. His front is on the ground. He can't sit down. Good boy. He can't sit down. Okay. We'll practice with that first. Put his front legs. But I'm going to show you at, on the back of the table to do the same thing. If he's constantly leaning backwards, guess what? We're going to use the back of the table. Let him back off of it. Keep your hands on him because you know he's going to back off. We'll let him back off of it a couple times. He won't back up anymore. I know. You're going to have your hands there the whole time. He's not going to back up off the table. So, you put his front legs. Use the back of the table. See, he's already trying to sit down, and that's fine. He's going to try to sit down. This is probably what Winston's doing. So, use the very back of the table for his feet, and then let his front drop. Okay. Yes, he's leaning backwards still. Guess what? He's only going to lean backwards so far before he falls off the table, and he's only going to do that once or twice. Okay. Again, don't grab his legs down here. Use his thigh only. And that's okay. We'll get us back. He's not sitting down anymore. See how fast that was? Because he knows there's nothing back there to sit down on. I think they really don't have a lot of um, concept of where their butt's doing. And then teaching him that it is going to make him think about where, what his butt's doing. And no, he's by now, and this is why I said he's roach backed and he's really long leg. So he's got a cute head, but he's really not good. <laughs> But I can't walk on their heads, remember that. Yeah, he's got a cute head. Can't walk on it. Okay. But you can he's make not a dog standing like this anywhere near what he's supposed to, and that's okay. You're just teaching him to be comfortable on the table at first, okay? We'll get him stacked right. He'll get it. You've got plenty of time, okay? He's five months old. It's all right. Let him be five months old. Yeah. He's got to learn a little bit at a time, but you want him to learn for muscle memory so that he, he does this automatically when he stands. But you don't want him to remember to stack badly like he's doing right now. So just at first, if he keeps sitting down, let him. Let him sit down off the table. Guess your hand's going to be here the whole time to catch him. You're not going to let him fall. You're going to let him think he's falling now. Okay? And so when the judge comes up to him, he's got delicious, delicious. Judge is going to look at him this way at first. You want him looking good. You can go boy. Get a good boy. And then get out from in front of him because the judge is going to come look at his teeth. May I ask you to look at the bite? That's fine. Show him the bite. You see how he moved all over? Expect him to move all over when you show bites. That's all right. Put him right back where he was. You can stack him like this at the show. Don't be afraid to stack at the back of the table. Even though the judge says, I want him up here. Fine. When the judge says, I want him up there, then move him up there. Judge doesn't say anything. The judge can look across the table at him. Okay. What are some extra tips that you have for anybody going into the show ring? Listen to what the judge is telling you to do. All right, eh, the best thing to do, if you're not the first dogs in the ring in the morning, watch, get there, get there early. Let your dog relax in his kennel, his crate, wherever you've got him, and watch what the judge is doing with the a breed in front of you. Because you can see what the judge You can prefers. say, okay, the judge is sending them down and back, okay? Mm -hmm. I pretty much think that he's going to send us all down and back. But don't, don't not listen to the judge because he may send you in a Triangle. L. He may send you diagonally down and back. He may send you a totally different way. But pretty much that judge is going to send the dogs the same way every time, no matter what breed it is. So if he sent the poodles down and back, you pretty much know you're going down and back. Um, you can also but see listen. their preferences for how they like the dog stacked, what they like the owner to do with the dog, how they yeah, like the dog Yeah, if he's asking walk. you to show the bite or if he's showing the bite, um, whatever, you know, if he's, he's bringing you in in, in um, catalog order, which means you're in numerical order, if he's just whoever's going in. And if he allows you guys just to go in however you want, then really pay attention to... Um, if your dog does better following another dog or if your dog is really uncomfortable with another dog being behind them, um, think about that and, and put yourself where your dog's going to show their best. We have some escapists. Tessa, don't you dare. <laughs> Get over here.
Tesla. <laughs> oh, she's testing you. Oh, she's testing you. Uh, also, something I've learned is that it's okay if your dog doesn't walk immediately. It's okay if they get afraid. Just calm them down, take a moment, laugh it off, and continue. Things on. like that, you're in, a, you're in a learning class. How your dog does, um, if he's really leery about other dogs being behind him, coming up. And you don't that. think that everybody's going to be really nice and, and knowledgeable in the ring either. There's going to be people that run up real fast and, and their dogs are going to touch your dogs, jump all over your dogs. Not everybody's going to be well-mannered. Your dog may be one that isn't well-mannered. So don't, don't, don't let him be the bad boy in, in the show. The judge is watching you all the time. There's two minutes in the ring. It's your two minutes. Use them wisely. Um, Look how pretty she is. That tail up and everything. She's a yeah, and if your dog doesn't hold her tail up, just tap, tap, tap on the top of the tail. See how high her tail just went? Yeah. She's still busy. She wants to do it her way, but she's not going well, to. You haven't stacked her in a while. Well, no, she hasn't had a strong her a while. Yet she know. still stacks. She does what she's supposed to do. Because they practice. remember this muscle memory. Once they get doing it, I guess just so. do it the same way every time. But stack them different ways on the table, because there's going to be a time where the judge wants to look at their head and he's gonna you're gonna stack on the table with another dog and the judge is gonna just look at their heads together she got her he might try to spar your male so that he stacks better oh yeah so he might she's got flowers on her head. <laughs> I know. You know, flower so, child so and if he asks she to spar and I've only been asked to do that once but it was with nitro and nitro just could care less mm -hmm. um, if you are ever asked to spar your male, um, you just basically face them up with another male and they kind of stud themselves up, they bow up a little bit. Don't let them get touch distance to the dog. You keep them back and if the dog's coming towards you, you, you back your dog up. You want them to spar, you don't want them to actually fight. The babies so. are playing, the they're having a playing. blast. But anyway, and you just do that. and. It's that little bit, that, that one stack, that messing with her, that's all I do for her one day. That's all she needs. You don't need to do it 27 and times in a row. Put them down, let them play, show them that they're good dogs. They're gonna be puppies. But when it's time to work, when they put the lead on. Whenever that lead's on, it's work time. Put the lead on, it's time time to work. Tesla doesn't know that. <laughs> but see how she just sat down? Well, guess what? I just picked her right back up, didn't I? I don't worry about Work, work, work while you're on the lead. she's gonna do what I want her to do when she's got the lead on. Slashy, how'd you escape? Ugh. <laughs> you dork. Even my fat girl, she still knows how to do it. Kid Slushy stack. Come here, Slush. Slush, pup. Can we see you? Ah, can we see you? Good girl. Oh, she's so pretty. She still knows how to do the stack. She's a good girl. She still knows. She's so My happy. fat girl with her bad legs. Aww. She's such a happy girl. <laughs> she looks like a walrus and I love her. She's so Good girl. See, put the See? tail up. Up, tail, up, tail. <laughs> she hasn't done it in a while. But that's okay. See, she's on the table. It's time to work. It's not time to do what Slushy wants to do. See? Look at those ears. She's so pretty. Oh, if only she had a little less. You are less so weight. fat. <laughs> she snorkels. Flash <laughs> pop. Oh, there she goes to all go right, attack her that's kid. That's it. That's all I wanted to show. All right. Anyway.